the banking module. The first feature is a very standard feature, which is the incoming and outgoing payment, which is available in any kind of accounting system. The second feature is bank reconciliation system. Now, BRS and SAP Business One are of three types. The first one is a manual BRS, which is available in any accounting software in the market. The second one is a semi-automatic BRS. And the third one is an automatic BRS. Let me explain you what is an automatic BRS. Now, in automatic BRS, you can download a bank statement as a CSV file or an Excel file and have it uploaded in SAP Business One. And SAP Business One would automatically reconcile your bank statement based on three criteria. The first criteria is the date. The second criteria is the value of the transaction. And the third criteria is the reference number. Now, if one of these three criteria do not match, then basically SAP Business One would keep that particular transaction aside as something which it cannot reconcile automatically and will have to be done through a manual intervention. Now that's a great functionality for a microfinance company which spends loads and loads of time doing manual reconciliation over a weekend or a month end. A small tip, wherever we have done SAP B1 implementation for microfinance company, we always advise people in accounts to do a BRS on a T plus two basis. Now what does that mean? Transaction date plus two. So you do a bank reconciliation on the second day after the transaction. This practice makes sure that when you go toward the end of the month, you have very few transactions to be reconciled and your job becomes pretty smooth. The third feature is taxation. Now SAP Business One comes with all the tax compliance, GST compliance available in India. And if there are any upgrades to the tax requirements that is also upgraded well upfront and the patches and upgrade are provided to all the customers before the compliance comes into practice. The fourth feature is a deposit feature. Now this is applicable to companies which basically give out post-dated checks uh, to either suppliers or collect post-dated checks from customer. If there's any scenario of that sort, then there's a separate account called a deposit account. What happens is SAP stores all the post-dated check in a deposit account. And when the check matures and is dropped in the mag and the money is realized, you can convert the value from the deposit account to the respective customer or supplier account. With this feature in place, when you look at a supplier aging report or a customer aging report, you can get to see the outstanding separately as well as the post-dated checks separately. The fifth feature is a payment run feature. Now, this is a feature where if there's a microfinance company which deals with a lot of suppliers and the supplier payment happens on a daily basis, then they can basically earmark a day in a week or once in 10 days or once in 15 days as a payment day where they can ask SAP Business One to look at the credit terms of the supplier and list the suppliers whose payment is due on that particular day. And SAP Business One will come with complete list of pending payments. If verified and approved, this list is converted into an outgoing payment transaction also. Having spoken about payment, SAP also has the capability of bank integration. We as a company have successfully integrated with ICICI Bank, HDFC Bank and few more banks. Now in an integration scenario, any outgoing payment, if posted in SAP Business One, gets reflected in the bank portal and in return to the transaction hampering in the bank portal, it takes the reference number and comes back into SAP and posts the reference number. So what happens is the reconciliation is also completed in one go. The sixth feature is the recurring posting feature, which basically is nothing but if there are scheduled payments, so you can build a schedule, might it be a rental, might it be insurance payments or anything which is scheduled and appears on a definite frequency of time. And that can be made as a recurring payment, wherein the value of the payment and the schedule can be loaded and SAP Business One will bring those transactions as a pop-up on a scheduled date and it can be posted into the system by a user. The features and functions explained in the banking module are some of the key functions which are required by the microfinance industry. There are a lot of other functions available but we'll stick on to the key functions which are required.